What's up, everybody? Today should be an interesting episode. This is Subnautica, and today should be... We've got to go tempt fate. Uh, I think we're going to have to go. There's a zone. I'm not exactly sure where it's at, but there's a zone where we get the, the rest of the Cyclops. And honestly, I think that I've been neglecting that part of our adventures. I think it's a really, really good idea for us to handle that. Before we go back out, though, I the, we tried the pressure compensator idea. It did not work. You guys probably told me in the comments, but since I batch record, eh. It is what it is. We learned the lesson the hard way. I'm not going to use the scanner anymore. Let me get some more torpedoes affixed into this little bitch over here. And then once I got the torpedo bay all locked in... No, I don't want to enter the sea moth. I want to put torpedoes in the sea moth. I want to put my torpedo in the sea moth. That's all that I really want. I always lose the torpedo bay. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can never access it the way that I want to. Torpedo bay is here somewhere. I might actually have to get in and undock it. Hmm. Torpedo Bay. It's normally like right there, but shit if I know. Eh. Fine. I will enter the sea moth then. And then we will go outside the base to do something that really needs to get done. I think I'm out of torpedoes. Is what oh the torpedo bay doesn't open until you drop, I gotcha. Two more torpedoes because I've been going through ammo like crazy. Let's go find a gasopod. Let me see if I can suck a couple of shits out of a gasopod. And if we can make that, it's probably the most precarious way I could have worded that. But you know what? If we can make this happen, Cap'n, we can actually make the gas bombs. Which would make us a lot safer going up against the Reaper. Because I'm pretty sure the gas affects him. I'm not like totally sure about it, but I'm almost sure about it. Come on, launch your little fart sacks. Can I harvest straight off of him? There's a gas pod. There's a gas pod. I'll probably farm out a whole bunch of these. I don't know if I can hit him with a knife or anything and get gas pods out of him. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the murderer's options, however. I'm trying to... Shit, I was trying to get it. I was trying so hard to get it, and I just messed up. So we got five gas pods right there. Yeah, that'll be enough. That'll be good enough. Let's make some gas torpedoes. We're going to be going out into dangerous areas right now, and I think the gas torpedoes will help. I want that robot arm right there. I want to affix it to my chest so that I have a robot arm with a gun on it. It's like, pop -choo, pop -choo, pop -choo. I, I imagine that my laser gun would go pop -a choo That would be the noise that it would make. Pop -a choo pop -a choo Man, we are generating electricity right now. This is like a whole new world of energy generation for me. I need to go back to the fabricator. So I can, it's always lying to me, though. The fabricator is constantly lying. It is just hard to get anything done around that damn thing. I need a bunch of titanium to make this work. Ooh, batteries are good to go. Yes, please. I'll take a little bit of that. And then we'll reload this guy right here. We'll slot the 10% one in. Good. Glad we got that battery. Remember back in the day when the game first came out, you could hold the sea glide inside your base and make you run really fast? You're like, whoa, 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 whoa! You could take off and it was awesome. It was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to make the inventory module, and we're just going to take that instead of the other compensator. The only other one that I'm a little bit interested in is the hull compensator, or the hull reinforcement. Uh, you know. Ooh, gas torpedoes. They are neato. Cool. Yeah, gas torpedoes seem like they'd be helpful. Let's add the trunk to this thing. Make like an elephant and trunk the shit out of this thing. I need to get rid of you. If only I could break you back down. If only I could break you back down. And then we've got our store. Oh, it actually added it onto the... How big is this? Not that large, but large enough. Large enough to hold stuff. So we got to do a little bit of finagling with our inventory right now because I got to drop this thing like so. Aboard, then we jump out and I got to take the torpedoes out of this thing. Do a little bit of explosive transport. I will more than likely just throw torpedoes in here in case I need them later. And we'll just really, really hope that the gas torpedoes work. There we go. A backpack full of explosives on a vehicle that is easily crushed by the pressures of the ocean. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? What is the worst that could happen? Torpedo Bay. There we go. We got gas torpedoes now, so that's a really big upgrade for us. That's something that's going to keep us safe. 
pretty pretty fantastically I think we're about as kitted out as we possibly can be with our current config I'm gonna keep the gas pods in here because their only usage is in making torpedoes I'll put some titanium in here too just so I can grab that real fast if I need to make torpedoes I'll probably forget but you know maybe it'll work out I would also like to do some reinforcement over here if we can maybe raise the HP of this thing a little bit more I think you got to do it on the outside though Oh, we can reinforce this room? Yeah, reinforce this room then. Sounds fine by me. I need more titanium to do it, but we already had the lithium in our inventory, so that's pretty swell. Let me grab some fish out of here too, because it looks like it's about time for us to eat. Time for us to get down on that wellness formula. Three to eat and one to turn into water. I'll probably reinforce this entire area, and then from there that'll allow me the opportunity to add a few more windows around and kind of make this place more aesthetically pleasing in all honesty grab you do I have more lithium in my inventory I do not so let's grab some more lithium too because I think the reinforcements take lithium we'll finish this off we'll eat our dinner and then it'll be time for the good shit that shit you've been waiting for there we go take our HP up a couple of notches here Perfect, and that gives me a lot more room to play around with when it comes to adding windows and extra aquariums and things like that. I'm sure the observatory is going to drain a ton. I bet the observatory is probably... Let's go check on our rods, too, actually. I was interested in seeing how this goes. They're still in there. Hopefully, I would hope that each rod lasts for at least like a week or so. I don't think like uranium rods deplete that quickly. I don't know anything about uranium rods, so something else to think about we should probably also grab that welder I'm sorry the let's see here the cutter got the stasis rifle too that we could get going with a propulsion cannon let's the laser cutter needs titanium I can do that I got that on lock we got that covered so a laser cutter it cuts things open hooray for it I'll probably, sorry, my silence here. I'm not sure if I want to carry it around with me or not. Filter out some water. Cook up a couple of these little guys. I'm sure they're not altogether that tasty, but they look like they might be all right. And then we'll go in on that too. And that will even us out for a little while. And so now... It's time for us to go out and do something that is going to be dangerous, but we should be able to catch daylight right about the time that it happens. I don't know exactly where we're going, in all honesty. I I think I kind of know where we're going. Out towards the... we got to go to the Grand Reef, I think, to make this happen. I'm not 100% on that fact, though. Not 100% on it. So we'll give it a we'll give it a college try here. And whatever happens, I'm sure we'll be all right. I mean, worst case scenario is we have to replace a fully upgraded sea moth, which would be time consuming and also require a bit of farming. But at the same time, I don't think it'll be that bad. All right. So where's the aurora? Right there. Okay. So we're making towards the front of it. Not too close to the front of it, but we're making we're making for this direction. There are going to be... Revi I think there are going to be Leviathan Reapers out here. Apparently, my knowledge of geography in the game is a pretty... By the way, it's early on in the month, and this game always patches new content in at the beginning of the month. So, I heard the next one was going to be... What was the next one? I read it on the blog last night. The next patch is going to be like a... Hmm, I don't recall. The next patch was going to be something important, though, for the development of the game. If I remember correctly, it's going to be like, it was machinery, and then what came after machinery was going to be, like, new critters and, like, a new biome or something like that. So I think we're we're in shape right now for some really, really fun stuff. Oh, there's radiation. Hold on. I don't have my radiation helmet on. Oh, it won't swap it. Shit. There we go. I'm going to try and stay moving because I hear sand sharks. Am I still oriented? Also, is the sun coming up is my next 
bit of curiosity. It is. It is. Just hasn't quite hit yet. Catch that sunrise right there. Ain't nothing like it. I'll tell you that much. Let's go ahead and dive a bit. We've got ourselves a chunk of detritus over here. Was this one that needed to be cut into, or was this one that we were actually... As I recall, if we go around to this side, there was a door in here, I think, that could be cut open. I think. I'm pretty sure there was a bulkhead around here that could be cut open. Yeah, I think that was it right there. Let me get my laser cutter out. We'll call that our five. Oh, wow, that takes effort. Yeah, that's going to take a bit to get through. We may have to do this in increments. I don't know if our oxygen is going to hold out long enough for us to get the door down. Holy shit. Okay, so we got it open. It looks like there's going to be something inside of here. Let me go ahead and I'm going to head back to the sea moth real fast, though, to get myself some more oxygen. I, I just want to be careful about the whole thing. I'm thinking what happens is the same designation that's on your base is inside of habitats. And so when you use the sea glide, it nerfs you down to walking speed while you're inside these buildings. Because I've noticed when I'm in buildings, I go really slow on my sea glide. And my guess is that these count as habitats so that they can place the furniture around. That's my estimate anyways. That's my best guess as to what's happening. It might be an engine thing. Let's see what's inside of this thing. So power leakage for certain. What is this? A mod station fragment. A shaft that leads to God knows where. Oh, it leads to another deck. Bunch of mod station stuff. I mean, if that's what you were trying to get after, seems like we should have made the cutter a little earlier, but I'm going to stay away from the electrical shit. Uh, I might drown down here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think I may have made a fatal mistake. It'll depend how fast we can get back to the sea moth. I need a better breach point, in all honesty, if I wanted this to work. Yeah, I know. I'm watching. I may need to make some more air tanks for, like, some of these little excavation missions down in here. Because by the time I get to that point, my oxygen is already draining down. Alright, well, we'll come back. We'll get more oxygen tanks and we'll come back, I promise. Now, down here... There should be a zone that we have not entered yet. No, that's not the one that I wanted. The one that I wanted is more than likely towards the Aurora a little bit further. Because I don't think this is my guy. I think where we want to go is maybe slightly off to the back side of this. Well, there's a Koosh zone, and we need more uranium, so... It might be worth diving into this particular bed of razors. That's those little bone shark things over there. They freak you out with that screech they do. 
But don't let them shake you. They're a bunch of douchebags. Bunch of salty ass douchebags. They do hurt though, so don't get bit by them. They hurt a lot, in fact. Yeah, he's trying to get me right now. I could waste a torpedo on him, but I'm saving torpedoes for bigger targets. Bigger, grumpier targets. I don't see any further research modules. But then again, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. That looks like a dune zone, so we definitely don't want that. The dune zone is not what we're after right now. We're after a great reef, and I know there's one on either side. There's one up to the top, or a grand reef. There's one to either side of the map. And I may be totally off base here in the wrong area, but if I am, I'm not going to let it phase me. Oops. Yeah, I know. Calm down. Lots and lots of salt, if that's what you're after. A big old blue ball that just never gets satisfied. I think that these are called bone sharks right here, by the way. Health is at 79%. Probably due to the fact that I keep getting rammed by bony sharks. Bone shark is ready. What the shit? What in the hell is that? Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. I mean, he don't look friendly, but he doesn't seem to be particularly interested in me either, so I'm not going to waste a torpedo on him. I was ready to, though. I was ready to. Well, maybe this is not what we need. Let's go ahead and surface real fast. I need to get my bearings. Figure out where the hell I'm at. I'm assuming I'm around the backside of the Aurora. Oh, I'm actually way up near the front side of the Aurora. Okay. It's not too terrible. We'll continue out in this direction and see what we find. There's something to be said for exploration. So in all likelihood, we'd probably want to go this way. That does take us back to Koosh, which slightly worries me. Oh, shit. Me not paying attention as usual. Oh, there's like a land bridge, right? Damn it. Stop being difficult. Is there anything around that wants to hurt me right now, like any of those worm things or bone sharks? Okay. I'm going to jump out real fast. And see if I can get some repairs done on this thing. I've made a few mistakes over this little Welcome run that aboard, have resulted in it being quite fractured. My light's on or off right now. Let's turn them off. Ain't nothing but Koosh below us. We should still mostly be safe. I don't think Koosh has anything to offer us right now, though. 
That's my bigger concern, is I kind of feel like Kush Zone. Oh no, there's one of those things below us. Huh. I don't know if those are like shock eels or what those are supposed to be. They don't appear to be too ridiculously threatening. He doesn't seem to be that infatuated with my existence, so... I'm okay with that. We want I think we want to find that mountain zone or something like that. I don't know. If I don't get it, I'll look at a map tonight, but... A little bit of lithium right there. Getting back up to safe depths. I don't know what's making that screaming noise. I'm going to assume it's those little shockworm things. This. There's metal fragments down here. It's also weird glowy fish. Caution. Passing safe depths. I think we're going towards the Aurora right now. I think. But once again, I can't go deep enough. I can't get far enough down there to actually see what's going on. So that was definitely a Reaper right there that you just heard. If you didn't hear it, go back and rewind it. I promise you, it's a reaper. Well, actually, it might be one of those. I don't know. The reaper's got like a... thing going on. Is there another island? Huh. There's like a... Kill the lights real fast. Well, I mean, I'm not feeling too unsafe right now. I feel like... I'd have seen him if he's around. Unless he's trying to sneak up on dudes, I don't know. That's a battery. That'll be useful when we get around to making power cells. I don't see anything over here. Normally I would call this the danger zone, but... Doesn't look that bad to me. I think as long as we stay in the trench, it won't be able to get it. Oh, the stalker bit me. Right, thank you, stalker. I appreciate that. Thank you for your contribution to my otherwise already harrowing adventure. Huh. I don't see any access points that we can get into the Aurora from over here. Well, actually, there's a hole right there. Oh, shit. I don't know if we're supposed to be inside of here. It doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Okay. Well, it was worth investigating. It would have been a nice Easter egg. I would have been excited about it. I like that kind of stuff. Trying to be real, real careful, because things can go pear-shaped out here real quickly. Another supply box, if that's what you're into. And I am. Disinfected water. You need a whole box for a Nalgene bottle? Must be a government project. Lots of metal over here. Lots and lots of metal. Ah, 
Ah, night time's here. This might be the time to intelligently evacuate. I don't like not being able to see what's going on. Well, we didn't get our Cyclops. Which is a tad unfortunate. However, we are back safe and sound inside the shallows, so... That's something to be excited about. Meanwhile, oh yeah, we got another weldy doer over here that we can get inside of. Well, maybe I'll do that first. Before I end the episode, we'll weld this thing on our we'll laser this thing on open. That is the wrong gun. What are you doing right now? There we go. Is that not the weldable door? Where's the weldable door at? There is that it? Oh, this one just opens. Gotcha. Huh. Oh my god. I guess if you wanted the desk blueprint, that's where you could get it. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, there's no weldy door there then. I wasted your time. Bye, everybody. This is Subnautica. I promise we will figure out these Cyclops in the next episode. I'll get a concrete map for where we need to go in order to get this to work. Bye!